the biggest challenge I faced was I was at a very pivotal time in my journey with the Groundlings, which is an improvis uh, improvisational and sketch comedy troupe based in Los Angeles. I was in the Sunday Company, and uh, Sunday Company is a precursor to the main company, but the higher you get in the Sunday Company, the more stressful it becomes. And it just so happened that this was being shot at the same time I was a couple weeks um, uh, prior to the end of my time at, in the Sunday Company of the Groundlings. So finding the balance between those two things was very challenging. And did you become a Groundling? I did. He's a Groundling. He's a Groundling, everybody. The uh, locations were very noisy. Um, a lot of outside, a lot of parking lots. A lot of noise in downtown LA. How do you get around the noise? We put a dead cat on the microphone and that made it less noisy. A dead cat looks like a Doc from Back to the Future's wig. Looks like his head. I know exactly what the biggest challenge of this role was. I felt like Kira is someone who would never go on stage without false eyelashes. So I put on false eyelashes and I'm really, really bad at putting on false eyelashes. So that was the hardest part. I didn't hurt myself, but I definitely had sticky eyelids. Putting together a cast and, a, and especially a crew, uh, luckily, running the downtown rep, I know a lot of really talented actors. I, I, no shortage there. I mean, everybody in the film is, is just exquisite. But um, finding a crew, especially from a the theater background, totally different than a film crew, you know? It's diff different, uh, different skill set. So, um, I was lucky enough to be working uh, at, a, at a company at the time that was uh, a film studio with five cameras and we, they, they interviewed people and, and I worked as the, the stage manager. All the other guys and gals who came onto our, our film set were running cameras, camera ops, and through working together I just, I just got really lucky and I met uh, Joey, extremely talented, uh, gaffed on, on Empty Space, Stephanie who was the first AC. Uh, who's extraordinary and, and just so much fun to have on set. Finding Idan, the director of photography, uh, was, was a godsend. He's extremely talented, uh, wonderful to work with. Uh, I luckily already knew the sound guy, Kevin DeKemp. We worked together on I, I Snatched Andy Warhol, my first film, uh, for which he did the music and the, and the, and the uh, sound editing, So um, along with Matt Glenn. One of the most difficult parts about taking on this role for me was is that I've been working in classical theater, like I said, for the better part of a decade. So I come from this very kind of very intense and larger portrayal of a character. For me, one of the hardest things about doing Jack was like learning to dial it back enough so that it didn't like blow up the screen. Also, uh, not hitting Devin. One of the hardest things was just during the fight call, like not actually maiming my friend De Devin uh, with a bat. I just didn't want to hurt him. And, um, and then of course, another hard part about doing this role was at the time I worked in accounting and trying to explain to accountants why I need to take two days off to hang out in a parking garage in downtown Los Angeles is interesting. Watch Empty Space. Watch Empty Space. Watch empty space. Watch empty space. Watch, Watch empty, empty space. space.